Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here, and I am back with another video. And today we're gonna kind of shift and talk about the business side of self care for business owners, about self care for creative women entrepreneurs. And I wanna say something that you may not have heard before, okay? I want to present to you an idea that you may not have thought about before. I want to introduce a conversation that may be new to your ears, okay? And that is that your business needs a self-care plan too. Your business needs a little TLC, a little tender loving care, not TY's left eye and chili, okay? A little tender loving care. And a lot of times we think of our business as this like inanimate object or series of parts put together. And that's true, but there are things that it's it, there are things that your business needs to keep it functioning, not just maintaining and not, you know, but to grow and at a high level. And so it needs a care plan as well. Okay. And so here's the thing. I know if you're a creative a woman entrepreneur, particularly if you're like making money online, you've got certain things in place. And listen, business is, is doing well, is going great. And you're focusing on your, your self care, but there are different things depending on where you're trying to go in your self-care journey and where you're trying to go in your business that could be beneficial to your business as a form of care for example what this is just one we just i'm just gonna give you one example because remember a real self-care strategy whether it's for you or whether it's for your business is not a one size fits all right and so one of the things that i had to do and that you may need to do or consider doing or maybe a friend of yours, an accountability partner, right? Somebody in your mastermind, somebody in your group coaching program is to consider minimizing your options to work with you, right? So if you've got 12 different offerings and 15 different ways that people can work with you, that may be a stressor on your business that could use a little TLC. And so you may want to do an offerings audit on your business and go, do I really need to be doing five different versions of this, four different levels of this, two different types of this, or can I really hone in and reduce the amount of services or products that I'm offering and really um, maximize fewer offerings than having a ton of offerings? And that is a way to love on your business, to care for your business, which is not to stretch it too thin. You want it to grow tall before it grows wide, right? And so for me, I really had to like rein it in and say, let me grow up before I grow out and um, really focus my energy on there. And what I found was I was a lot less spread thin and worn out and exhausted. And then I also felt like my clientele also felt more cared for and therefore my business started to grow upwards and versus outwards right and it was it was just a lot easier to manage when i had a lot less things i was offering so just a quick quick video for you this week okay make sure you grab my new training which is um how to enjoy your success without the stress a self-care strategy guide for creative women entrepreneurs i'm so excited to share with you i've been you know putting it together for a long time so i hope you really really enjoy it it's completely complimentary it's my free training my free gift to you for rocking with me and um i hope that you enjoy it but yeah like do think about areas in your business that where your business is stretched thin and how can you care for your business better yes we need to care for ourselves better but how can you care for your business better and because when you care for your business better you end up caring for your clients better when you care for your clients better they come back they are repeat clients which is amazing and you get great testimonials and then your business is able to grow with a lot less effort than if you were wide versus tall so be a tree not a bush and uh, i will see you in the next video make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on and if you're not following me on instagram at the evelyn inc i would love to connect with you over there and i will see you in my next video peace